Look at this. We're talking about zero to 450 in two seconds. Orbital ATK tested this motor today that would be used as an astronaut escape pod. I love when they test this stuff. Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson was out there, and as he reports, this could be the device that helps save astronauts' lives in the future. Mike? This is an important milestone in getting the Orion spacecraft into space, even if it's a component they hope they'll never have to use. But as one astronaut explained, it's also a safety measure he never quite had on the space shuttle. Three, two, It takes just five one. seconds and a ground-shaking rumble to fire this escape motor. If this one pulls you off the rocket, it'd be, you know, up to like 10 Gs, which is a lot. Pretty impressive, even for three-time space shuttle astronaut Rex Walheim. We always want to build upon the safety of the last program. This is one way to do that. The launch abort motor will become part of the Orion rocket, as seen here in a test launch in 2014. It's set to take astronauts to the moon and beyond. Walheim says the ability to quickly launch away from the boosters is big. The shuttle was a great vehicle and I loved flying it, but we were on the side of the stack, the propulsion stack, and so if something happened to the stack, it was no easy way to get off of it. In the hours and days before the test, workers at Orbital ATK spent time mounting various sensors and cameras, all there to monitor the motor's performance. Just in the ejection seat, for instance, in a fighter pilot, when they need it, they need it then. And that's how we view this, is that it has to work every time. Even though, as abort motor program director Steve Sara explains, the hope is to never use it. The abort system slightly resembles something NASA had in the Apollo. Oh, it's a similar concept, but it's, it's uh, it magnitudes greater safety for the astronauts than, the, for instance, the, uh, the space shuttle system. And seeing this motor in action today... We're taking those steps now. That's what's so exciting about this. ...gives many here just a glimpse of what's ahead. These next few years are going to be are going to be a great time for the space program and the country. And the first unmanned Orion mission to the moon is set for 2019, later taking astronauts around the moon in 2021. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thank you.